What's up, wrestling fans? Welcome to episode number 219 of Smack Talk, presented by SmartOutMoment.com. I am your host of the panel, Tony Mango, and joining me on the mic for this episode is Stephen Wago. No, I'm not. You are. Oh, okay. Ah, proved you wrong. We've also got Drew McBigballs. Well, oh, I'm fine. I don't know the pop actually. I'll be going to turn off my sink. <laughs> Co-host of the year, everybody. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> He just knows that you've got so many uh, fans lining up around the corner, you know, trying to track down where he lives and everything. Hey, so Peter! Then... Hey, Peter thinks I'm the co-host of the year already. So, <laughs> in my opinion, I'm off to a great start in all of you guys. <laughs> Our main event for this episode is going to be a call the spot on the card ranking for the newest signees in WWE. We've got the hot tags coming up in part two. Rest hold break is in part three. The fantasy league is going to end the show in part five. But we're on part one right now, which means it's time for the wrestling trivia question of the week, otherwise known as the Ask Him. And for those who don't know what the Ask Him is, it's pretty simple. There are two questions to tie in together in some fashion. The first question goes to the panel. The second question goes to the audience to answer. And before we get into this week's set of questions, we need to backtrack to last week. They were about the Royal Rumble. And the question to the panel was, what is the average number of most eliminations per Royal Rumble? And that was seven. Seven. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Question to the audience was, who had the record for most eliminations in a Royal Rumble before Kane's 2001 performance? And it was actually a tie. Both Steve Austin and Hulk Hogan had 10. Hogan's was in 89, and Austin's was in 97. So let's start going down what people said here. Bobby Listener says, wait, it was Tony Mango, Austin. It was him all along, Austin. Half right. Bobby Listener also says Stone Cold and Hulk Hogan. Uh, So, yeah, he gets that right. Uh, Peter says Stone Cold. Half credit for that one. Last says, no, I meant (laughs) meant to say a harder question. Uh, See if we get that this week. Christopher Marin says Hogan in ninety or er, in eighty nine and Stone Cold in ninety seven with ten eliminations each. Yep, uh, seems like pretty much everybody's getting this right. Declan Macri, he's got this correct as well. Morris Supremo says Stone Cold, Stone Cold, Stone Cold. So I think it's Stone Cold. <laughs> he also says and fuck Dixie, she has not done anything bad, well except be a part of TNA. So just for that, she deserves it. Dirkomania says Stone Cold and Hulk Hogan at ten. And Silent Wind Doom says, uh, was it Ric Flair from the one time he Iron Maned it? I don't have to worry about my streak because I usually only get one right a month. Well, it's not this one. <laughs> and his Fuck That Guy Club entries are Lenny Poffo, Byron Saxton, Vince Russo, and me, if we don't decide to do Superstar Scores Buff Bagwell this week. <laughs> a couple well, weeks from now, we're going to do it. I mentioned it. In March, when we have a downtime and there's no pay-per-view to build around, that's when we're going to do Superstar Scores Buff Bagwell. I well, promise Tony. we will be doing that one. Well, Tony, you're joining the Fuck That Guy Club, apparently. I feel bad for you. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm in, like, a, a good group with Lanny Poffo and, I'm assuming, Virgil and such. Well, at least he didn't r- wish upon you to get hit by a running Tensai. Yeah, yet. that's true. Yeah. Superstar score is coming up probably March 2nd, so set your watches to that. But we need to get into this week's set of Ask Him questions. So this week's question to the panel... Which two people have tri- has Triple H defeated four times to win a world title? Shawn Michaels? Nope. Is it one of them Randy Orton? One of them is Randy Orton. Is the other John Cena? Nope. Ooh. Edge. Is it Edge? Nope. Is it The Undertaker? Nope. The Undertoker? Nope. Was it The Rock? Nope. Was it Stone Cold? Nope. It's not Kane. Mick so. Foley? Nope. How about Dude Love? Fully, I think, might have been three. Oh, really? That's close. Mm. Who? And the first one was Orton, right? Yeah, Randy Orton and blank. Vacant? Nope. Damn. That was such a good guess, too. That was a good guess because it would have been the type of thing that he would have done. <laughs> just being awarded for titles. <laughs> it's, I'm trying to think who he beat for titles. It's a little hard because it's like one of them you have to count him being in the Royal Rumble this year because that technically was a title match. Oh, it was a big show? It is a big show. God damn oh, it. shit, yeah. They beat him the first time on Raw in 1999 after Armageddon before the Royal Rumble. I didn't realize big shows held four titles or world titles. 
Well, he didn't necessarily win, uh, have those titles for Big Cho to lose. Like, oh, uh, he oh, beat him in f- matches fatal where, four-way. yeah, that Fatal 4 Ways, Triple Threat, uh. that kind of stuff like that. Same thing with Randy Orton, I think, for one of them. Um, but Orton, of course, he gets, like, you know, flat out beaten by Triple H in a See, couple why, instances. Why couldn't have this been the uh, question to the audience? Because that's fucking stupid. You well, because I, I have uh, something easier kind of for the audience, I guess. Although it might not be. I don't know. It kind of depends. Question to the audience. Name the three people other than Triple H who have had over 10 world title reigns in WWE. If you think you know one, two, or three of them, or you want to take a guess or anything else like that, send a tweet at SmartOutMoment with the hashtag AskHim or leave a comment below, and I'll tell you the answers next week and run down everything else that you guys say as well. And we're going to continue on in part two with the hot tags of the week. So stay tuned, everybody, on iTunes and Stitcher, on YouTube. Just click on that part, and we'll see you there.